seeing people use the software that I built. And that was the coolest thing ever. Computer science is not just programming. It's a lot richer than that. But I really like kind of building the software and putting it out there and building something that wasn't made before um, and having people use it. I've had the opportunity to build a web application to build an, for, the, for the hackathon this term. I built an Android application, which I've, I've, never, I've never done before. And I, I built a desktop application, and this time I'm building a Java application. This summer I have a, an internship with Google, where I'll be doing cloud computing stuff. So that's like, just like broadening my experience. Computer science is a lot more than coding. It gives us the opportunity to work with other fields. Um, we have a lot of collaborations with the sciences. We hired, we just hired last year a computational biologist. We also have connections with the arts. We have a course called Art, Interactivity, and Robotics. It's a beeper bot. I had not taken any computer science or programming before my first term at Carleton, so I thought I was going to be like some bio, bio major or physics major, some kind of natural science, but I took intro to computer science my first term. So I just took it for the fun of it, and I really, really enjoyed it, because then I was exposed to like so many things that I would never thought I could actually do, and I was, I was given the opportunity to do one of those things, and I'm like, okay, I totally should do the rest of these things. This is awesome. This is what I want to do. Forever, pretty much, yeah. yeah. Many of the projects that we do in our courses and many of the, much of the day-to-day -day work is done in groups or pairs because we know that that's how students are going to be working out in the real world and it's a lot more fun to work that way and it's a lot more effective to work that way. Oh, that's good. I like that. Students get to collaborate with faculty both on research but also increasingly on civic engagement projects. So for instance, working with the Alzheimer's community in Northfield to develop an application geared at caregivers. Maybe you have a brother and sister taking care of their mom, um, and maybe one of them is across the country, so our app's gonna help them keep up to date with the financial, legal, medical, personal aspects of you know, mom's life. Maybe you have like a cousin who you don't wanna know, uh, or you don't want them knowing all the financial information, that kind of thing. Um, so we're gonna be able to like uh, filter out uh, access to information depending on the caregiver. So maybe I want her to be able to see just personal things, so I'm going to give her access to that. Okay, um, and then Camille refreshes her news feed. There we go. It's something that we didn't think of ourselves, but uh, going out in the community that kind of uh, helped us see that problem, so we added that. With CS, you, you actually help, you actually solve problems. and. Also coming from Africa, like I'm very passionate about technology and it's awesome that I'm going to have a job that will actually change lives. It's, for me, I guess that's the best feeling in the world, I guess, yeah.